Hello, my PC crew. What it do? Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will love you long time. Hi, guys. So today we're going to do a quick garden tour and basically just showing you what we're doing. We're basically in the middle of starting our fall crops and just pulling out a lot of things from the summer out, uh, restarting over, doing different things, a lot of different things. Um, I'm here in Alabama, and the weather changed a lot. Uh, also, my name is Rojo. So, excuse my hair, I didn't lay down my edges this morning. I just got up, took my bonnet off and just came on out here anyway so let's see what we got in the garden let's start look at here everything is not organized i do still have some pretty beautiful things here uh i have some tomatoes still growing i pulled up some tomatoes too not too long ago pulled that dead leaf off here Looks like something trying to grow on this huh yeah, look at that. You see that? I just had to come messing with some shit. I'll tell that off. Cut that there. So it's just one. No. Well, it's some more here. I got one down there. But yeah, as you know, just the whole season for all this stuff is about to go away. I got a pumpkin plant here. It's not really doing good. Yep. And I got one here. Uh, my dahlia, I cut cut back. Uh, it seems like I need to put some cinnamon out here. You got a lot of gnats, but it has been raining excessively. Like I said, I'm in Mobile, Alabama. I'm in Alabama and it has been raining a lot. This is about the first day that we haven't really gotten any uh, excessive rain so far, but it does suppose to rain today. So anyway, let's just take a tour. Strawberries here, they are dying off. I didn't get no strawberries on that. My, um, this is a cayenne, and then we tap that. And if you watch my previous videos, you will see why we do that. Uh, but I tell you still now, we do that because it helps pollinate the flower. That's why we do that. Uh, we have a few okra plants, new okra plants. Here go one with an okra on it. Um, and that's okra, okra. Um, we have a new tomato plant growing here and here. And it looks like something they eat now. And then we have a few pepper plants coming up peppers jalapenos most likely all right and check out this red okra plant i'm excited to see the flower on that just everything on this red okra mm -hmm. can't wait let's get another good picture of that one red okra my first time growing it then i have a few more okra plants here which okra season is really uh about to be over with fall is coming we got two more days to fall look up here y'all can y'all see those up there i got some uh lupa locusts still up there but i can't get it and then we tried to pull the plant but we couldn't get it down so those are still there up in that tree yep it's four and then there's one all the way up there somewhere, but I have to show y'all that later. All right, so Rosa is doing good over there. Mm, yep, no roses, but she's getting some new roses of some new stems on her. My ferns around the garden is doing good. Look how big that one got. That one here them on there what they just grow up these are like wild ferns i didn't plant them so i had some corn here that's gone um the red okra from another angle that flower's about to open uh our citrus trees this is grapefruit and this is just a regular orange tree we don't we 
Pat ate an orange and just took the seed out and then he planted it and this is the tree. This was February of uh, 2020. So these are year old plants. They've been with us for a while. A uh, tomato plant, another tomato, which I'll probably add some more soil to this one. Uh, then big, y'all know big oak. Big oak go all the way up there. Big oak. Yeah, she's big. Uh, and then the cayenne. And then I got some, um, damn, tomatillos right here. And again, we shake those because we want them to pollinate their self, self pollinate, which I need to come back and add some soil all through here. Uh, we got two cucumber plants that's dying. We got a jalapeno right here that's thriving good, doing good. I came out here and cut a few things off of it the other day, uh, branches and stuff, stems. It's a little jalapeno right there on it. Not much. Oh, I got a few tomatoes over here that's been cut. And, and I got a few other plants over here. I really don't remember the name. I know I got some dahlias over here and this, some other stuff, which this is really not a good area for none of that. It doesn't get a lot of uh, sunlight, but in the morning time. And it is 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah. So we got a few flowers here, purple flowers going on. Uh, we got key right here, key lime, uh, citrus, big, juicy. No key limes yet. Key lime has key has been here with me for a long time. I used to have her over there next to Rosa in the ground, but we dug her up and put her in a pot, and she has thrived tremendously since we did that. Um, okay, and then you see the little red flower that's a cypress vine and I don't know the name of these but I have seen them a few times and I forgot the name of them um, and then you see the little orange flower here beautiful uh, somebody gave me that flower well gave my husband that flower and then he gave it to me alright so you see all my um, hibiscus here it's a lot of them yeah, I'm going to be harvesting hibiscus seeds at the ass, okay? There's so many of them. And here's your beautiful hibiscus. Beautiful, right? Yes, I love it. I love it. All right, what else do I got? Um, we are taking down uh, the morning glory that was going this way all the way up. As you see, it's just dying off. We're going to pull that down soon. Yes, we are. Uh, more hibiscus, more cyber vines, cypress vines. Uh, we have another rose here, but not nothing too crazy. Uh, my greens, my greens right here. These lettuce or um, salad, which I think this is a green here I'm not sure what that is I think this is soil soil sow mm -hmm. maybe and then you know I still got my avocados growing we're not gonna do anything with that my mango here my uh, pancetta here my uh, purple queen here and then we got the afternoon plant here which I'm basically just waiting for her to sing uh, seed which I don't know much about her seeding, but I just sit and let them do what they're gonna do. They will show me what they're gonna do. Right? So, uh, my ferns, black queens, I got another tomato here that's not really doing anything. It does give me flowers, but it doesn't seed, so. I mean, it doesn't give me any fruit. So I might add some more soil and fertilizer to that and see if it'll help me out. Here we go, our beautiful morning glories and our cypress vines. And then we got all kind of stuff here. We got sage, uh, black queen, another avocado, another uh, poncetta. Right here, the same thing. 
We have avocados, mangoes, uh, citrus, tomatoes, sage, some thyme there. See thyme, citrus, all that's beautiful. Uh, we actually have an apple tree here. I've been growing from seeds since, um, yeah, since September 2020. So this is coming up on its birthday, its one year birthday, and she's getting repotted for her birthday. <laughs> Oh, well, it's her birthday here. It's either her birthday already passed or it's coming up. Well, when September over, we'll know that it's passed. But she's about to get repotted. Uh, more Morning Glory Cypress Vines. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is another hibiscus plant that just started to grow on the ground. Now, I did a video not too long ago on these beautiful bags and items. We had been getting so much rain that they just haven't taken off the way that they need to. Now the beans are good. They look like they are thriving, but most of the things that's already in there, the greens and plants and stuff has gotten beaten by the rain. So we just gonna give it a little bit more time so they can grow stronger and uh, we can probably plant some more seeds down soon. All right, look at this y'all. Look at what I did. Do y'all remember that? I'm gonna try to put a picture here of how it used to look. I had the net around this area here uh, coming this way and then I had the beans and the loofah and the, uh, what else was there? I don't even know. Uh, squash. I had something else there. Yeah, I had a squash and all that stuff here and then I still got the couple plant here. But we cleaned this area good. I had, the oh yeah, tomatoes and and I still have the tomatillo out there. I'm gonna put some more soil on that. So here we go. These are cosmos and they are still doing great. My basil is starting to, you know, fall back. It's starting to seed a little bit here. Beautiful. Uh, my first time experiencing this, but I did want basil seeds. So we're doing that. Look at those mushrooms down there. Yeah, I've been getting mushrooms like crazy. Look at this picture. Put this picture right here of these mushrooms going out the spot. That is crazy. You see it? Crazy. Okay, so look at this pepper. Yep, that's beautiful. And it's a nice size pepper plant. Uh, and then here, here, we have some kind of flower here. I just put a lot of stuff in this. Uh, Tub. I have some greens here that look like they've been getting eaten by bugs and stuff like that. Turn them greens and stuff. So probably snails. Snails is like the biggest problem that I have with my plants. Um, yeah, snails and those damn ladybugs. And everybody be like, oh, those ladybugs, they're so cute, they're so cute. They will eat your shit. They will eat your shit up, okay? I ain't bluffing, no. They will eat your shit up. Okay, here's another mango, and then you got the cypress vine going up here. And the main, uh, not mango, morning glories. Yep. And here we go. Some more of these hibiscus. I can't wait till we see. I just look inside and see if it's time. It's not. Oh, try to kill a mosquito. It's not time. Alright, so let's walk around. I can get through that. I need to pull up all this grass out here again. Okay, Selena and her daughter out here. Still, it's almost winter though. Winter time, we bring her in the house. She will be in the house. And I'll probably be cutting some more uh, of her long, beautiful things off. But look at those beautiful purple plants. We're probably going to hit this side another way. Yeah, I've been doing a lot. But, um... Here is some um, habanero plants. This one has taken off really, really, really good. And I just had pulled a pepper. Check this out of this video of me pulling peppers. So the reason that I tap my peppers is so they can self-pollinate themselves. Usually the bees will come around and, you know, crop, go up in there and jiggle it around so it can self-pollinate itself. But just in case 
no bees made it and it's been really rainy here in Alabama so not many peppers going on we got one habanero right there and one here that's orange and I'm just gonna grab this one beautiful Okay, picking a few more cayenne peppers today. We just really got two. I can't get it to focus on those beautiful peppers. But we only got two ready so far. So I'm gonna take them so they can start producing more peppers. And it has a lot more peppers on it, but those are gonna start turning red and more is gonna produce. I love it. All right, now did you see that? That was great. I love doing stuff like that. That was a bell pepper and a habanero that I pulled. Now look at these uh, pretty, pretty purple flowers. And we, those are opening up a lot. So yeah, we really don't have much going on in the garden today. So hopefully y'all loved it, liked it. Uh, next video, we will be planting some things. Just let me know what you would like to see and what you would like for me to plant. Um, we're going to plant some more greens. I know that. I want a lot of greens. So we're going to get some greens in the ground today. We're going to get... Uh, a lot of stuff in the ground so next time make sure you're here to see